Good evening, Wolf family. This is the December post board meeting update. Merry Christmas to everyone. I know everyone's probably anxious, just as anxious as I am to have some time with family over the next couple weeks and looking forward to having that break and really looking forward to the second semester. We're going to have a great second semester and um, just anxious to get that rolling. We um, this evening, just a few items to go over um, from this board meeting tonight. The Board of Education received an audit update from our annual audit review. Um, Sarah, Sandra Barrera from KPM, our auditors, came and visited or visited us virtually today and shared our audit. We had a very successful clean audit. Our financial statements were all clean. They tested a variety of things within our systems here in the district of how we operate from special education services, federal programs, um, finances, and all of our processes and procedures are effective and in place, are, are working well, following the law. And so we appreciate that. And, and just please report that we're having a clean audit. A shout out to our entire central office team who works hard on all those programs um, and ensures that we have a very efficient and effective district operation and that we're taking care of district ta tax dollars and uh, patron dollars well. We reviewed the strategic plan goal tonight which is we will always maximize learning time. And I know that is a point of emphasis for our teaching staff, our instructional staff, really focusing on doing everything that we can to protect student learning time. Um, and uh, they're doing a great job of that. I think this has been a unique year. We're excited to get, of course, get away from COVID, um, but students are you know, really having some challenges with behaviors and social emotional items. Uh, so we talked a lot about how to meet their needs and how to help them grow. And so sometimes for, for a student, um, while academic growth is the most, you know, the piece that's most important in terms of the overall mission of a the school, um, their social emotional growth is sometimes is the biggest gains that you see in a student in a year. Um, so there's just a lot of great work, but uh, we do everything we can to continue to maximize our learning time. Um, just a few items. We briefly talk, touched base on enrollment. After we get back from break, our staff will begin to look at enrollment numbers, projections for next year, so we can determine staffing ratios and where staff needs to go and to, to maintain a healthy class size and utilize district funds in an appropriate way. So we talked about that briefly. Our attendance has dropped a little bit due to a lot of the sicknesses and uh, things that are going on. I know there's been a lot of flu and a lot of other illnesses. So we encourage kids to continue um, to, to take care of themselves and be well. Hopefully this break will give us some respite. We also have a phenomenal nursing staff here that's able to support you. As students come in, if they encounter anything, we, um, we obviously lean a lot on those nurses to do their work and they do such an amazing job. During last month's uh, Board of Education retreat, we attended the Missouri School Board Association Conference in November. Um, during that session, we went to a variety of sessions, learning session. Um, several of our board members, three of our board members attended a session regarding mental health, a new mental health opportunity that allows us as a district to have essentially a survey tool, an assessment tool where students can kind of gauge how they're doing emotionally and socially and with mental health. Um, and staff members, teachers can also do the same survey and that data can be utilized to provide, inter provide interventions. And so we're diving into that. We've had some sessions. It's a grant opportunity. It's a two-year program that will give us access to a tool. And again, a self-administered um, survey um, that will lead to some interventions and some supports. So we're looking at that and diving into that over the next couple months um, just to see if that's a good fit for our district and a, a good tool for our staff to use to be able to intervene for kids who are struggling. Um, we discussed at length um, the board itself and how it operates. The board, at least two times a year, does a self-evaluation where they evaluate their effectiveness. Um, the board has a variety of norms that they adhere to um, that are kind of the driving norms for how they should operate as a board member. So uh, twice a year, they're able to give an, an independent um, survey review on how they're performing and then in open session have a discussion about that. So tonight the board um, did have a really healthy discussion about how they're performing um, and I would say, you know, not that I'm their chief evaluator, but certainly part of the team that they're exceptionally strong board. Um, they have the best interest of our students at heart. They want to do their job well and serve our community well. They want to represent the voice of our families and the voice of our kids um, and ask hard questions. 
and uh, difficult questions at times and ask the right questions to ensure that we're being held accountable and moving forward in a good direction. So I appreciate all that our board does. There are several thank yous I don't even want to begin or recognitions. I don't even want to begin to say them over, over here because I don't have my list in front of me and I know I'll miss, but congratulations to everyone, both on and off the field, in classroom, all the wonderful things we're doing. We have, as a community, we've had so much excitement because of what's been going on with, um, with you know, band programs and sports programs and student learning and successes and just so many things. And so I just want to just let everybody know how proud we are. The board did approve, um, we every, oh gosh, three to five years on my brain, I can't remember exactly how many years, I, every few years we are required by policy and by law to go out to bid our banking services, who we bank with. And so just to ensure that we're getting competitive bid um, packages for our dollars as we're having dollars sit in for interest rates and different kinds of processes and payroll and all those things that we do. And so we did solicit those bids and it was a very, very difficult process because we have some amazing banks within our school district boundaries um, that we would want to do service with. Um, we narrowed it down and did, did interview three different banks who were all phenomenal. We would love to work with them all. And actually, we do work with all of them in some way or fashion. They benefit our school, they benefit our students, they serve our kids. And so it's always one of those tough decisions when you have to pick really a great option from all three. Um, but based off of the conclusion of our, our bid process, um, looking at the fee structures, the um, interest rate levels, and really the service, and you know the level of what it would take for us to shift to a new bank, we've decided to stay with, um, stay with our current bank provider, Southern Bank, um, and we appreciate all the work that they do. They continue to provide great service for us, and really, they keep my office staff happy. My office staff, this is super, super important, so as long as really the interest rates and things look competitive, I'm going to always lean on our office staff to make sure because they're the ones who on day in and day out are working with the bank. Um, and as, if they're happy, I'm happy. Um, so we are pleased with, again, we appreciate every bank that submitted bids. Um, and, you know, we saw we can't work with all of you in this capacity, um, but hope to do business with everyone in some capacity. And we appreciate working with Southern Bank. Um, the board did approve some exciting news. We're really excited. The Career Center bids have all been approved. Tonight, we approved the bid package, um, those proposals, the contract. So you will see, maybe even tomorrow, a trailer getting put out there, a, a new home for the Career Center. Um, as building projects go, beginning on Monday for the course's break, spring break, the entrance into the high school will be blocked off because the construction is going to begin right there. They have to do some work there in our road and are going to try to take care of that while everybody's out of town. And then in January, when we get back, we'll have a groundbreaking ceremony, an official ceremony. And then you'll really start to see dirt getting moved and pro process progress moving. I know people, you know, we, we needed rain and moisture. Boy, I'm still just hoping that we don't have rain and moisture. <laughs> I'm hoping that it stays warm and we can build and get into the ground and do our work. I'm so excited and pleased to hear or to actually have that final approval. And I will give a shout out to my main, main man, Steve Verhine, and for all of his hard work. He is working tirelessly on that project. Um, also, Nick Tiemann, Brian Muller, and entire Gibson Tech staff are helping design the building and working on that. We are ready now to break, and so I know that crew will be excited about our career center and ready to move forward. And the final thing that we discussed in the board meeting tonight is that the, the Board of Education approved a stipend to add an additional coach for the girls' wrestling program. So I know our two wrestling coaches will be excited. Our numbers have increased, uh, which has been put in a lot of extra, tact, you know, extra time and energy for our two coaches. And they're often split between now two programs that are going different directions, leaving a coach with over 30 wrestlers. And so the board did approve to add a wrestling stipend, a wrestling position that will begin this year or this immediately. Um, so really, really excited about that. I think that's all we talked about tonight is a really, really uh, great board meeting. Um, great things are going on in our district. Um, if you know anybody who works in a school, please give them a shout out, give them love, give them a, a five, <laughs> a pat on the back. It's not an easy job. I don't think there's ever been a challenging, more challenging time than it has been now to be in the role of schools. Um, it's also so rewarding. And in our community, it's our community, it's our staff, it's our students just keep us coming back because it's such a great place to serve, love, and lead. And you see that evident in so many different areas. You saw, I, my, my wife and I experienced that for our first time in the, in the, in the um, Christmas drive this last week. 
the Christmas um, oh, at the New Testament church toy, toy activity to give presents out and gifts. We, part, we participated in there and volunteered a little bit of our time. And we are thinking next year we got to be all in. And I, I had no idea really what it was even about. It was just truly an example of how our community serves, serves each other. Um, appreciate all your work you do. Continue moving forward. Continue partnering with the school. And everyone, have a very Merry Christmas. Thanks and God bless.